Um, my teaching methods for teaching Gnonyok is repetition. Uh, repetition is key. Um, a, I start off with, uh, we focus on making sure the students know uh, the elements, their names. Um, also, we work on sequence. We also work on um, adding what I would call like their Gnonyo toolbox. Um, and as we get more words to add to it, it gets more um, uh, beautiful. And uh, all the words, they have a lot of meaning. Uh, and so I make sure that we take the time so the kids aren't just reciting what they know from Gnonyo, but they're actually uh, knowing what the words mean so that they can have it here in their heart. And that's where, you know, the. Um, the true giving thanks comes from uh, when you're saying Gnonyo. Um, I started saying Gnonyo, uh, it started off actually, I'm like one of the first district teachers in Salomeca to bring Gnonyo to our district. And that story actually came about, um, I took a group of students to visit some elders. And this group of elders, um, you know, uh, one of the elders there, his name was Dar Dowdy, he um, kind of made a comment about, you know, how we should be learn students and kids should be learning how to be thankful and, you know, the wor the changing world that we're living in that, that, that it's necessary for us to learn those um, meanings. And so what I have done, I took that and, and he basically came right up and asked me, you know, you're, you're teaching the students Gnonio, right? And I hadn't been up until then. And so right there, that was my permission that I needed from our community to teach something so important. Um, so that's really kind of how it began. And I started off little, um, just basically knowing the elements, what they are, what their cultural significance is. Um, so that, I think that that's really key also to learning Gnonio, that it's not just words, that you're actually learning like culturally how important, significant each one of the elements are because that's what makes the students connect to it. Uh, sequence is important because uh, we're taught that we start from the ground all the way up to the heavens. And so when we're giving thanks, uh, first of all, first and foremost, we give thanks to the people, each other. And, um, you know, in, in Gnonio, we're taught and we're told that, you know, that we're supposed to love one another and that that lesson is far above important than anything that that we're kind to one another and then uh, we move on to the earth and as a whole and then we work from the ground all the way up to the heavens so sequence is important um, for that really cultural piece um, or component of learning Gnonio so it's it's more uh, so that you can um, also when you're saying Gnonio, it becomes like a rhythm or it becomes like a cadence. Uh, and when, when speakers are saying it, uh, it also helps them keep their place. Um, also to know, make sure that they don't leave any of the elements out. Because uh, sometimes if you are saying Gnonio and it's kind of your order is all over the place, you might forget an element. So it's really important to kind of remember uh, where you are in sequence so that you don't leave one of the things out. What does Gnonyok mean to you? Gnonyok means to me, uh, what it means to me is, is, is about giving thanks. Um, it's something that we should do every single day. Every single day that we're, we're able to wake up on this earth and our feet are touching the earth, we should be thankful for that. Um, and, and, you know, and all the things that uh, it was provided for us or is here on the earth for us to survive, um, that those things that we should be thankful for every day. And, um, you know, so Gnonio to me is about giving thanks and is about teaching technology and the changing ways of our society that we forget sometimes the very basic ideas about just being thankful um, and thankful for the basic things that we need um, for our very own survival and to think about what our world would be like without these things and we're in a crisis you know in our world right now as far as our um, um, environment uh, what would happen if we didn't have the sun what would happen if we didn't have rain what would happen or water what would happen if we didn't have our forests uh, so you think of it in that way 
and it really can open up your eyes uh, to know that you know that it's our responsibility to not only does the earth take care of us but we also need to take care of the earth. Yummy.